Crawford is a dynamic and humorous speaker, a gifted teacher, and a compassionate counselor. His messages are inspiring and relevant to today's world. Reverend Tony earned his master's degree in consciousness studies at the Holmes Institute and became a minister of religious science in 2012. A native of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, he attended the Pennsylvania State University where he holds a bachelor's of arts degree in, wait for it, clothing, textiles, and marketing. I love the combination. So Reverend Tony worked in uh, San Francisco for the AIDS Foundation and spent uh, 15, almost 15 dedicated years um, working with that community and with AIDS prevention. His calling is to serve and his focus ministry going forward will be working in the field of HIV prevention, education, and care in communities of color. He's currently an at-large minister for Centers for Spiritual Living in the Palm Springs area. His desire is to help and serve his community now in the Coachella Valley, and he will continue his calling as a speaker, mentor, and spiritual advisor as a member of the Brothers of the Desert. So welcome, Reverend Tony. He will be speaking on celebrating life as source. Good morning, family. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? All right, I can't see you, but you can hear me. Um, just blessed to be here this morning. Um, I'm excited to be here. Um, I am so uh, uh, just elated to be part of this this morning, this celebration. Um, as I talked to Reverend Robert in preparing uh, for today, uh, spirit takes you in a whole bunch of uh, directions before you land on the message. And I just love celebrating life as a source. Um, so hopefully as I maneuver Zoom, I just wanna show you, um, uh, well, I'll get to the slide, but uh, first in my um, uh, opening, comments, I want to, again, say how grateful I'm here. I am here today. Uh, happy belated uh, to the new year of 2023. Happy year of the cat. And um, back to living here in Coachella Valley, I'm coming up on two years. Uh, and it's been uh, amazing. Uh, first of all, before I forget uh, in this day, uh, thank you. Uh, my beloveds that have contributed to making this service very special to me. Sending out love to Reverend Robert, uh, the board, service leader, Reverend Cindy, uh, I think you worked that with your husband, Reverend uh, Richard, well, not Reverend Cindy, but Richard, uh, and practitioner Armandis Connie, who will close us out. So lastly, um, <laughs> I am extended family, for those of you who don't know, your cousin. So when Monterey Center for Spiritual Living became family, when bringing Reverend Robert here um, as one of his spiritual charges that makes me your cousin. So I look forward to sharing my spiritual journey with all of you, getting to know what I will be doing here, okay, and, and representing um, Monterey. And thank you again for uh, holding my letter of call and getting to know all of you is uh, gonna be one of my um, uh, goals for 2023. So let's talk about uh, why we're here today and celebrating the source. Uh, this time of year is great for me and especially um, as I'm now uh, winding into maturity uh, on this uh, path of ministry and uh, the New Thought Movement is, is my uh, uh, inspiration, uh, we, and, and I'm talking about all the centers in spir of spiritual living, publications and social media, this time of year, we're reminded of uh, where we come from, our roots, um, the basics, the foundation that has built this philosophy. Um, and as we all know, a must reread 
and especially for me in 2023, is that Science of Mind text. And Ernest Holmes has laid it out for us in this beginning of the year. And this reminds us to just know that this is how uh, we're going to celebrate our life, especially how I'm going to celebrate it. So we talk about the thing itself, the way it works, what it does, and how to use it. All right. So this themed uh, January of 2023 is rooted and rebooted. Uh, <laughs> what I like sometimes uh, when I get prepared is I like a definition. I like something to, you know, concrete to tell me what, what am I talking about? But that word rebooted, um, I, I don't want to shut down and, and start again because it brings back uh, these crazy memories of my uh, laptop. But the part that I resonated with is it's the act or an instance of starting something anew, making a fresh start. So just think of close that, <laughs> close that laptop and turn it back on. You're going to start from the beginning. So today, your cousin Tony is celebrating the review of my life. Um, the examples I'm going to give you today, my manifestations, input of conversations into the universe, um, I'm knowing that all come, comes from the endless well source. Um, my blessings come from life, okay? Let's be real. Stuff happens. But as we uh, declare that stuff um, as good and very good, there's lessons in that. Let's celebrate. So um, as I give you a little context of my talk and uh, uh, share a little bit about me, um, I speak from a practitioner of this philosophy, um, the New Thought Movement, and what it has done for me when I have changed my mind. And we all know that saying, uh, change your mind, change your life. And I hope what I share can be a gift uh, to your practice for your life. So today, a few highlights and the three things I know that I know that I know are my spiritual tools that is key to my source life, treatment, meditation, and affirmations. So let's see if I can share my screen. Ah, I'll move on. Uh, so pull up, come on up, come closer, get your coffee cup. We're cousins. We're gonna have a look. A family talk, um, and this is this is the familiarity of, of centers and and family. It's like we can talk to each other. Let me tell you what's going on, and I hope it helps you. So first, affirmations. Here is one that I love, and this one I'm gonna share with you. My uh, share. All right, it's not sharing. Oh, there it is. All right, thumbs up if you can see this. All right, um, this is a beauty for me. And um, affirmation sometimes gets, uh, um, I guess, less of uh, a celebration than, um, meditation and, and treatments, but this one's reminded me, uh, and I'll read it out loud, uh, when the light of the outer sun is faintest and its warmth feeblest, now is the time when the soul withdraws into the darkness, but can find within itself the inner spiritual light. Um, and this is about that, um, um, when the, when the times get rough, uh, we can crawl under the bed, uh, we can put our head under the covers, uh, we shut down and, and that's okay, we're human. Uh, and I went through a lot of that um, this past 18 months with a lot of, um, a, uh, a lot of uh, changes in my life. Uh, and this affirmation was on my cell phone, 
Um, I printed it an eight by 10, put it in a frame. Uh, here's a new one for you guys. Put it on the sun visor in your car. You know, when you're checking that lipstick or you're checking your sunglasses as you get out, there's your affirmation right there. I'm telling you that that, that just works. Um, bathroom mirror, the bath, back of the bathroom doors, you shut it and you take your private time. Um, <laughs> I've seen some folks put affirmations in the shower behind like a plexiglass. So as you're taking your uh, morning ritual of washing away uh, yesterday, there's affirmations to tell you what's going to happen for today. Um, this one works really well. Send it to friends and family. Share those affirmations. And this, this is us talking now as cousins um, and send it back to each other. I tried that and it works really well. I am reminded when I forget from my family and prayer partners about the affirmation I sent them. It comes back and it comes back wonderful. All right, first story about affirmations. Um, so before COVID hit, um, I went through uh, some health issues and challenges, okay? So right now, my celebration of my life um, was the frequent flyer points I got that I collected with my trips to Kaiser, okay? I'm on the gold card membership. So um, just quickly, kidney stones, prostate cancer, then went through radiation, then I had a stroke, um, and just this whole transformation of my body as, as I go to middle earth, or excuse me, middle age, um, <laughs> and accepted it. So affirmations that I used and plastered everywhere um, especially for kidney stones, releasing that stress. A lot of that was this tightness I had in my life and learning to get massages and, and, and just let stuff go. Um, let's just say cancer is not my truth. I kept saying that and kept saying that and it was done. So cancer free right now. All right, radiation. Um, uh, everybody's different in their, their treatment of, of cancer. But uh, if you've ever been to like a planetarium kind of thing, or you're looking up at the stars, um, the, the tool that was used in my treatment was called a laser knife. And they sit me in this room and they punch some numbers in and then they ran out. And it was this big old machine that kind of shot lasers at me. I thought it was the best thing next to sliced bread. I told everybody about it. And when people uh, took me to my treatments, I was like, come in and see this machine. It's crazy. So I just celebrated the technology, um, where we're at in treatment. Uh, and all of that was, uh, uh, gave me uh, uh, the inspiration to know that it was all for my highest good, knowing that I'm whole, perfect, and complete, and everything that was coming to make my life healthier, my body healthier, uh, was there for my highest good. So I chose perfect health that I know is Tony. So with that same thought, um, I was doing too much uh, with all these things to my little body um, and I had a stroke. And I, as you come out of it, for those who've gone through this, uh, you go to a heart class and, and um, they show you and tell you what you need to do. Um, <laughs> but I remember going in there and opening the door and I looked around and I thought, oh, this is not my people. Um, I didn't sign up for what that was about and what um, uh, uh, I thought that people were embodying, okay? I didn't choose it. And that's so important. I changed the picture. I changed my mind because I was affirming that I am Tony. So next, meditation. <sighs> All right, cuz a lot of people, when they talk about meditation, that you're in a room with your legs crossed and you're with, with a bunch of people going, uh, saying languages you don't know. Um, that's part of it. Find the meditation that works for you, the process that works for you. Um, the truth that works for you. Um, and you can dress meditation up any way you want. Um, so 
here's a quick story about meditation. Um, first of all, my God gift is visual and I feel it, I see it. And sometimes I have these visions and dreams uh, that what I want and what I want from life or what I uh, focus on, I see it, I manifest it and um, I get the affirmation about it. So as I was talking to my prayer partner uh, today about uh, this part of the talk um, that I was gonna share on meditation, uh, he sent me a text and he said, <laughs> after we talked and I hung up, um, I had something to send you that I hope you share with everyone today. This is what you sent me and it happened. So the journey down here to the desert, um, when I decided uh, after I um, was gonna make the relocation after being laid off, um, I thought, okay, um, Palm Springs is it, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll relocate there. Um, I had to come down and take a few visits. Um, Palm Springs had been a place where I would come to vacation with friends and family and, and past relationships. But this time I was coming to live here. Uh, so I was looking at it in a different lens. Um, it's a place that I got to find uh, a spot for myself uh, to live. So um, I had to go, I had to come down and check it out. So if I can show, I'm going to share again. Da, 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 da. And you have to see this, the, the, uh, what I am. Um, I'm going to show my, my prior partner had to remind me. Uh, so these are the pictures of my space. So this is the apartment uh, complex uh, that I found. And I sent the pictures like, oh, does this look like me in Palm Springs? Um, this was the visual. This was, um, I felt good, it felt right. And I had to let everybody in my prayer circle see the same vision that I had for myself. This is so important uh, because it, it's something I don't think we talk about enough. Uh, yes, the power in my vision is, is it could be enough, you know, in, in, in any situation. But the key here, cause, is let everybody else know what what where you want to be and what you want to do. You want to go um, um, rollerblading in Central Park? Post your head on somebody that's roller skating and tell them that's what I want to be and that's what I want to do. The same with for if you want to um, uh, uh, snow ski, uh, waterboard. Think about it. Put your visual in that. So this is where I wanted to be and it felt right. So my prayer partner says to me, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for that. You know, glad uh, 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 we, uh, we know that truth for you. So <laughs> here's the thing. I got the apartment. I got the apartment, number one, without having a job. Okay, I had good credit, thank God. Um, I never saw the unit. I just knew when that lady called me up and said, okay, you got the apartment, um, it's being repainted, it's being redone, you're on the first floor, you face the pool, I just thought, okay, great, I'm done. Um, that visual um, helped me uh, in my, my search and, and, and my relocation. And again, I'll reiterate, the good thing is that my spiritual team saw the same vision that I had, okay? You, 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 you work that uh, in, the, in the new year. And that's something that uh, I'm excited about. Uh, and I, I wanna share this last bit of information um, is uh, lottery winners. Uh, every time I see lottery winners on, on TV or I read about them, they say one thing, I knew I was gonna win. They had a vision of them as millionaires in a big ugly house or Whatever it is, uh, is your truth about uh, uh, winning a lottery. And I thought, that's exactly, uh, I see myself in that apartment. I see myself uh, in that area. So I knew what I had to do, especially for me, is that I had to see the visual of it. So um, 
I'm excited uh, the then that I excited that was my alarm uh, to also add treatment and prayers. So um, in 2023, we are going to do the happy dance for uh, prayers and affirmations and uh, meditation, but prayers, affirmative treatment, and it could be one with you doing your own daily and your spiritual practice, your prayer partner. I suggest you add people to your prayer train. There can never be enough prayers, can't be a never enough treatments. And if somebody says, can I treat for you? Say yes, okay? This is cause to cause, say yes. I even like to go stand next to somebody else's doing prayers. So it flows to me and it just rubs off. So with that said, uh, I want to say a quote from Ernest Holmes. Uh, the man who has faith in his own ability accomplishes far more than the one who has no confidence in itself. Those who, get, those who have great faith have great power. And I'm reminded uh, with that quote of the overflow of life. And when I know that I know that I know, I am confident. And that's what prayers does for me. Um, I replace all those fears, anything, any doubts that I have of not getting a job, not getting an apartment, I add faith. Yes, I'm doing, I, I will, I, excuse me, not will. I am, I'm there, I know it. And that's a key thing with it. Um, here is, um, I'm not going to show that slide. Anyway. Um, one of the things that uh, uh, I also want to say, um, I grew up asking for things in my prayer, okay? And a lot of you um, also have done that same thing. So that's the big aha that I want to uh, just add to this briefly is because I slip back and forth sometimes as I'm praying to something. I'm praying that, uh, 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 you know, like it's something way out there, that affirming I got it now, I live it now, I see it now is the important thing. Uh, so the last share of my slide doo, 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 is this one. And I wanna say for sure, add everyone to your prayer. And I'm just wanna reiterate that. And we know from lots of classes, for where two or three are gathered in prayer, right? And the treatment is powerful, it's set together. You know, it is done and it is done strong. So this is my biggest aha. And don't be afraid to ask for prayers, ask for treatments. Uh, again, I said earlier, when somebody says, can I treat with you and I pray for, pray for you, don't turn around and run out the room, go, yeah. You know, and how and you can do as many as you want. That um, uh, uh, addition of those prayers have really, really changed my life. And I'm celebrating the power of life and the prior, we know, the power of prayers. But I, I get to the point where, and, and I wrote this here, as my grandmother used to say, you cannot out pray God. I didn't know what that meant. Um, but you can add and you can pray a lot. And we know in religious science, if you, you made a mistake or you think it's not what you want, you can change it. Or if something manifests uh, in your life that doesn't look like you thought it should, do another prayer and do another treatment. But the biggest thing is don't be alone in it. Speaking for me, and I'm, I'm speaking and giving you my truth, is that I added, I increased, I stood in the flow of a prayer and folks, it's okay to ask for more and more. There is no um, uh, 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 F you get or, or here's, here's the thing I used to say, oh, you know, maybe I need to share some prayers, let other people have them. We are abundant. The source is endless. Prayers are endless. The universe is endless and you can fill it up and fill your vessel up. And that is so key uh, to going forward in 2023. So um, lastly, in, in my example, is that I got a new job. 
I started work the end of uh, November and I am a community health worker for uh, DAP Health. It used to be Desert Age Project uh, and they changed their name to DAP Health because it's not just about uh, HIV and AIDS anymore, especially in this area down here. And DAP is learning or have learned that, that we have to be comprehensive in our clinics and our treatment and offer that to um, everyone here in, the, in Coachella Valley, especially communities of color. So I was sort of, uh, didn't know where I was gonna be uh, in my new job, but I was also uh, kind of stuck in being laid off uh, from the AIDS Foundation that I worked for up in San Francisco. And I, I was running from that old, that old job or what I thought was uh, my old calling. I'm all about being in a community and, and being with people. And that is the calling. And especially as, um, uh, as I said earlier, uh, being part of the uh, Monterey Center for Spiritual Living, um, there is just a vast amount of folks that, that need uh, uh, communication. They need a connection to health services. And as I'm going to get Monterey Center for Spiritual Living put on my back, one, back of my shirt, and DAP on the front, um, I am that conduit down here. So what that said is that I got specific with my treatments and prayers. And if I could um, uh, give you one last uh, uh, tip is um, we can be high, you know, 50,000, 100,000 level uh, in our prayers, but you can also be a specific and direct of what you want and what you need and who you are now. And uh, lastly, as I end, uh, I want to share this last slide, which I think is great. And hopefully um, we'll get it to you. Um, every year you make a resolution to change yourself. This year, make a resolution to be yourself. How wonderful is that? And let people know, scream loud <laughs> and add, so much to your spiritual toolbox. Um, cause cause we are reminded again at this time as we revisit, reboot, refresh, reveal, and know that life we live, our source is endless. And that source dwells within and it is called God. And so it is. Whew. Thank you guys. Thank you, Reverend Tony. <laughs> You're such a doll. We love you. I really appreciate the diversity that we have in our community and the wonderful ways we uniquely express. And part of our spiritual practice is gratitude, is practicing all the wonderful ways that we get to give ourselves away to life. So I'd like to invite you all to share in speaking our affirmation of abundance together. I recognize the presence of God within as the source of my abundance. Out of my abundance consciousness flows everything I could desire in life. With gratitude and thanksgiving, I now participate in the flow of uninterrupted abundance. This prosperous experience is evidence of my abundance consciousness. So recognizing that one of the uh, wonderful laws in life is the law of circulation. As we give, we receive. I would invite everyone to consider different ways that you support this ministry with checks you can mail to our center at 400 West Franklin. You can text to give through the technology of the phone number on your screen 
or um, using our website, montereycsl.org, uh, pressing the donate button. And I also know that we also give with time, with our presence, and with our talents and gifts. So consider ways that you could be involved in whatever way that spirit calls you to be involved. Could be some activities that we offer here at the center. It could be offering a workshop even, or um, holding a party, which we're actually gonna do next month. So at this point, I would like to uh, thank our entire community that has joined this morning and invite those uh, virtually or in person to share our YouTube, our Facebook service. Um, you could do church every day of the week, technology-wise, which is wonderful. Um, next week, we actually start our February theme, which is curiosity as a superpower. I call it reverting to our two-year-old attitude. Don't you love two-year-olds? What's this, what's this, what's this? And next week's message is entitled, What Lies Beneath the Surface? Hmm. Reverend Robert will be back with us. And with that, I, I think we have a minute or two if anybody has a gratitude to share, comment to make, something wonderful. What? Goodbye to Facebook. Oh, goodbye, Facebook people. We appreciate you. We love you, and we're glad you joined us, and come back.